So we have a brand new little adventure today. We are actually on in a historical mission. We really actually have a mission today, don't we? We've got a it's mission. It's not just fun and games. We're getting well, serious. It is fun and games, but yeah. Right. So tell me about what we're looking at right here and well, why we're here. Here because the historical record is written that Thomas Kelly's first building, who was the original settler of Jonesport, and who was my sixth great-grandfather, built his house down there. Now, the early settlers built on peninsulas where they had a great command of everything coming and going because they didn't know how they were going to get along with the Indians, and they had to have that strategic panoramic command, high ground. So it was much more likely that he built in this area. Now, we found 1830s and newer stuff over there. We wandered over here, and all of a sudden we started finding buttons, King George coppers, and drape bust coppers. And there's a little indentation right there, and I want to study this to see if we can find anything more, because I think we might be able to debunk and rewrite history that Thomas Kelly was right there. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get it done. You better I'm ready. Now, is this, um, did this have, was it ever stone lined that you know of? I don't, it's usually tall grass. Yeah. So I, I just noticed that this here, there's an indentation. Yeah, it's a nice little square. My focus turned to that because I was finding stuff. Well, you know, if we dig some little pits in here, we could probably date it fairly easily with the nails and stuff. Ooh. You know? You know. Yeah. All right, let's see what we can find. All right, so what we decided to do is just start by digging a hole right in the center and see how far down it goes and what the age of the objects we're finding. We already found something of interest. That's a key, a skeleton key. That's pretty interesting, huh? Yeah, that's that awesome, cool. man. That's a nice little artifact. Um, but we're just going to dig it straight down just to see what it looks like. Uh, still, there's lots of bricks in here still. A little bit of pottery. We hadn't really gone over with the metal detector to see if there's any types of buttons or anything, but we'll get back with you once we get it down just a little bit more. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Oh, super. All right, so we have a little hole dug here uh, down about uh, three feet, three and a half feet. It's a lot of big rocks. It's really hard digging. There are nails in the very bottom, but they're so corroded. I can't even tell if the rose head nails or not. That's kind of what it looks like. We hit some water. I can't even move these rocks. They're all wedged in there so tight. I don't know if they were placed in there like that or if they, you know, this was just filled in when the house burned or something. We are finding these kind of small bricks. I don't know much about the manufacture of bricks up here in Maine and uh, how to date that particular brick. If you can tell me, let me know. But they're much smaller than the normal bricks that I'm used to. And, uh, you know, got a little bit of iron. Uh, that was kind of toward the surface. A little bit of broken glass. One little piece of pottery, but uh, not not a whole lot, but it's still going down. I mean, I'm still into the black stuff, still into the broken bricks. I just can't dig um, too much more right there with uh, tools we have. So what do you think, Billy? What is that? What is that? Wet, wet stone? Rock? <laughs> I don't know. My pinpointer goes off on it. Does it? My first thought was a whetstone, something to sharpen a knife on, but I'm not so sure. Rethink about how we're going to dig this out, uh, but it's still going down. Of course, we hit water naturally. So I think what we're going to do is um, uh, maybe backfill us for now and rethink about how we want to attack this cellar hole. But we're going to search around the outside a little bit, just around the edges, and maybe down through there, see if we can come up with uh, some other items. And there's a couple other cellar holes nearby we might go look at as well. So. I'm getting tired. You're getting tired, Billy. Really. Working on it. <laughs> You're working on it. Working on it. <laughs> I've worked on it. There are a lot of nails in here, so it's uh, it's definitely, uh, I think we're on the trail of something. I'm digging a little hole in uh, what I think is a trash bin for the house. If you look right there, you can see the screen. That's where we dug the other hole. So I came down here and started. I got a signal, big iron signal, so I dug it up. And it was part of a, well, let me just show you. It was this big iron thing here, which is... I believe a uh, latch to a door, you know, a lock on the door. There's lots of animal bone in here, nails, and I did find this little flat button right here, uh, which will be quite old. And there's the trash there seems to be about, about a foot and a half deep there before it turns into like a peat material. But there's lots of little nails in here. So this might be worth checking out uh, more too in the future. But I'm going to go ahead and button this up for now. 
and just do a little surface detecting around here and who knows maybe we can find evidence of another structure uh, by digging a few of these test pits as well so dug another hole this is where the first one we started in the foundation just outside to see what might be here and find another um, you know piece that goes on a door uh, for like the doorknob and lock and some nails and stuff and what appears to be burned uh, you know just charcoal and stuff so that's more evidence to me uh, that the house burned down the one that was standing here because it's a little you know it's a layer of charcoal uh, right here so we might have found out why the house isn't here anymore other than just pure neglect like we see so much nowadays it possibly burned and that was a very common thing back in the day because of course they uh, you know heated with what we would consider primitive uh, fireplaces with uh, primitive chimneys and candles for light kerosene lanterns for light a lot of fire around yeah so yeah it's pretty interesting i think i think we're on to something here it's a brass yeah i guess it's a uh one of those shotgun shells that were real tall the, the early very early reloadable ones a couple harmonica reeds down there too like. that's pretty cool actually they're quite collectible if you can get them a little better shape than that, that? how they you know weld it together with a forge i'm not sure what that is though i've never seen anything quite like it it's We've a, got all uh, kinds of murder weapons. Oh, you got a, uh, you found that? Yeah. Okay, musket ball and a giant uh, dandy button. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's sweet, that. yeah. Well, that's, a, that's a dandy right there. A little that's chicken on it, nice. We got a mercury. Oh, sweet, got some silver. They're only nice. about two feet apart, I thought for sure it was something. Nice, all right, congratulations. It's not like a, is it? I don't know what it is. Yeah, a shop. It's like a button, but I think it's back. a I think it's a button of some sort. It looks well, like a huge shotgun primer. While we're but here, no, uh, I just want to let you guys know that. Oh yeah, that's that's a button. Yeah, that's a button. Um, that that uh, tomorrow we I got word that we landed that colonial per permission on the river. Pucci, that's right where an early settler would have. Would have settled and it's probably full of nectar. So Sweet. we're gonna, just tomorrow. We're hitting that and then we got the colonial village afterwards. Both colonial yeses. village. That sounds like they sell Cape Cod candles or something there, they you do. know. <laughs> they actually do, they make them there. Oh really? Oh, God. So cliche. <laughs> so that's the hill where the foundation is on. I decided to just come down here in the water for a few minutes. I haven't got hardly any signals until just now. I just dug this. Which is probably off of a boat. Big old piece of a uh, coppery, brassy thing. Whew, looked like a little genie, genie bottle, didn't it? <laughs> One of those little lamps. Well, it's starting to rain a little bit, and uh, Billy just came up to me and said he has a big old bucket of lobsters back at his place, getting ready to be, uh, <laughs> that are ready to be cooked and eaten by the chig. So that's next to my last target, which is a big piece of iron. Not sure what it is. I'm gonna try to get one more target and then we'll hit the road. Okay, well, I got my last target right back by the house foundation and it's a hoe, a little piece of a hoe anyway. And I'm gonna have to call it a day on that. I hope you enjoyed this short little adventure I did, but I'm ready for some lobster and some adult beverages, if you know what I mean. And I think you do. We'll see you in the next one. Mother Earth has no sympathy She'll take the ring from your hand And bury it in the sand And keep it for eternity Mother Earth, she's got her secrets She's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying Exactly what she's saving Where it is or what it might be Mother Earth, you are my lady My big round baby I'll rock you until I go to sleep She don't care if you're dying Or if you're living Or somewhere in deep